What's good, people? It's your boy, Icarus Gray. And, and, and this is Gray Area Anime. We're back, guys. We're back. Sorry, I've been gone for a while. Work, other podcasts, the No Rhyme Reason podcast, which you should also check out, is back in full swing. And, you know, just life changes, you know? Mm. It's the kind of things you have to prepare for. So, with that, the producer probably isn't here at the moment, but we've brought in, brought in, brought, in, brought back <laughs> fan favorite. Right. Zonitsu. Hey, hello guys. I'm happy to be back. <laughs> and because we are um anime geeks to the highest degree. Yes. And a lot uh, of cool anime things have been happening lately. Yes. Yes, 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 <laughs> indeed. Uh we are here to just talk anime today. Uh we know we still have to do the uh future diary synopsis or breakdown, I should say, mm-hmm. of what you thought of it. Mm-hmm. Um in the Teach Me Senpai um basically master class edition. <laughs> Which I can't wait to do because um, there's a lot of stuff. But we want Prima Diva here for that nope. one just because yep. that was her bag. So we're gonna wait a little while on that. We'll keep it but under wraps. <laughs> stay tuned because it's coming. <laughs> um but anyway, we're gonna just do some do anime discussion. Um, he's going to dispel some things. He's going to, as you guys know, I've said Boruto is trash before, but I have been, or I've seen the light. Have you? I've seen the story. Cha- oh, yeah. Well, okay. because of you. Okay. Now, I have not read again. Right, right, right. Outside of the new parts. Right. But given that Kishimoto is back mm-hmm. on board uh, and he's reworking the story, and I, I'm very familiar with Kishimoto's story style. Mm-hmm. I'm enjoying it. Okay, I can see where he's cool. building and, and going towards it. Hey, I'm glad um, I could help. <laughs> but I wanted to bring you on because I kind of wanted you to explain some of your thoughts on Boruto, what Naruto meant to you. And that's going to be a whole another episode in and of itself because mm-hmm. we're going to talk about that because that was another huge thing for me. Um, even though I was a bleach guy, I was bleach over Naruto, just period. But that's because the connecting points was different. Mm -hmm. Um, But with our deep conversations and everything that we've discussed on Boruto and the story style and the different things that can be built, Mm -hmm. you paint the world in a way that I think that I paint one piece for people. Okay. So with that, let's start with, was there anything with Boruto that you just didn't like or were you already amped for it in regards to, it's conception because a lot of my disdain comes from the methods that were used in starting it, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. which, which were like, what do you mean? So the method that were used in starting it were, you know, they convinced the animator that was working with Kishimoto mm-hmm. that it wasn't going to be a sequel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then it turned into a sequel mm-hmm. because they wanted to keep the money going. They immediately started the PBS special anime at that point Mm -hmm. because you know they didn't have anything they could build from oh is that what you're calling okay yeah yeah (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) because that's what it don't man look you know if nothing else until they get to uh the hundred uh the 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 sarda story okay basically everything before that is so pbs special Mm -hmm. except for the fact that with the explanations that you've given me about the characters, you're like, well, this, 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 and this. Yeah. So it's kind of like a world building type thing. Yeah. Um, so simply what were your, did you have any gripes with Boruto and its start or were you just as a fan happy? I'll say that like initially I thought that it was coming out too soon mm-hmm. um, because there wasn't enough um, content. To actually like, you know, keep a series going, Mm -hmm. you know, and so with that, like I had already expected a lot of filler, but um, as I'll kind of explain later, because I'm sure we're going to get to it, like Mm -hmm. I love Naruto and like Boruto filler just because like there is a main story going on, but you have such 
like dynamic characters around Boruto mm -hmm. and you know his family and his team and his friends and things like that that like we have to understand like how they power up too so usually it's like one of those things where you get more backstory from you know a perspective that's not really like you know canon or maybe it is canon but it's not really talked about but they spend a lot of time just developing on it so they have content mm -hmm. but like that was kind of expected because like Honestly, I didn't even really know what filler was until until Naruto. Because huh. it'd be like, you know, the serious thing going on. And then next thing you know, it's like a flashback. Then you got five to eight episodes of like back in the past. Talking about people that you've only heard people have conversations about, but you actually see them in action. And they're like, oh, that's how they reacted, which is why they, you know, it's like all the pieces connect at right. that point. So, yeah. Um, so I wasn't surprised. I wasn't upset, but I didn't go in with any expectations because there wasn't enough content, if that makes any sense. That does make sense. Yeah. I guess that's my thing is I'm so used to the information that I have, the information mm -hmm. that I expect, mm -hmm. <laughs> the quality that I expect. Mm -hmm. I very rarely go in anything without an expectation yeah. <laughs> that you know I have for my information because um, with how I am, I'm only going for the things that I want. Right. I will try things. I right. will watch your one episode, your two episode. Like I watched it for a while at the beginning. I was reading um, and I stopped reading probably a little bit right before the everything started to kind of intersect and started to like come back together. Mm -hmm. um, but I guess my big thing is and I guess we can have this discussion. Wait, can I actually say, but in that same sense, like. I feel like because, you know, this wasn't supposed to be a sequel because it was kind of advertised like this mm -hmm. isn't going to be anything like Naruto, like this is his own separate story. Mm -hmm. I was also kind of satisfied with it. I'm like, oh, OK, you know, my expectation was kind of I mean, like I, while I, mm, I'm kind of contradicting myself yeah. um, <laughs> while I didn't. Well, OK, well, I had high hopes. I had high yeah. hopes for what this was going to be. My expectations were low to non-existent because okay. Naruto is the greatest show ever to me. Mm, I'm going to bite myself in the foot saying that. <laughs> I'm shooting myself in the foot saying that. But, you know, it's like one of the one of the best shows that I've ever watched. True. And um, so how are you going to make it different? And at that, how are you going to make it better? And like me being like analytical and you know how I like to like really like dive into what's yeah. going on. and do Especially all the when you love a series. And that's why yeah. I, I, when picking your brain about it, it makes them more interesting. <laughs> it makes all the characters more interesting. Mm -hmm. Now, it does create an expectation that I want a Taz. Or I want a Zonitsu on their writing team <laughs> because the things you think thank you <laughs> <laughs> versus what they do yeah are completely different yeah, yeah and yeah, that's yeah. normally my gripe with yeah. any of those things and my gripe at that time was like you when he did the i can't even think it was like the seven year guide or whatever whatever it was called kishimoto's last thing that he did where he introduced uh boruto sarada Mm. I don't know that he introduced Mitsuki, Mitsuki in that one. We knew about Mitsuki, I think. We just didn't. Yeah, I think we knew about him, but I don't think he No, we knew him. Orochimaru had a kid. Yes. That's what we knew, but we didn't know it was Mitsuki okay. at that point. Um, I, And he I believe introduced right, but... uh, Otsuki, I think. Which one? Um, Just the concept of them oh, in, yeah. the, in the guide, you know, because they were um still doing something with the Sharon gun under eyes or something. I yeah, think, yeah. In guide. Well, yeah, because uh, Sasuke went to go flesh out all of that. Yeah. The last bits of uh -huh. Atsuki which or whatever, like which was Boruto. He went and found Shin. Like that was yeah. just a, you know, extension of that mission. Yes. Yeah. And so See, that kind of stuff, but that's that, what Kishimoto did. Yeah. And that's why that was amazing oh, yeah, because yeah. it gave you this depth of Sasuke at that point. Mm -hmm. um, and we want to know about Sasuke. Like, He's the he's a main character. He's a main he, character, and he's we Berto's want him to brother inherit, like you know, and we want him to ch change in the same way that Naruto has in a certain to a certain degree. Uh, finding out about um, him and and Sakura's relationship in that regard mm -hmm, mm -hmm. of how he softened mm -hmm. and cares for his daughter in that sense, and her finding herself like that one. It was it was just a one shot. That, mm -hmm. like, not only showed just how freaking strong Naruto is, 
at that point and how much he was holding back because that's, you know, as you said before, they're in that they're in an actual post-war time, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. not pre-war time, which is what Naruto was like still in the middle of pre-war. Like there's social unrest. There's all this tension, which is why it's such an amazing series is because they build on that. In the seventh episode, mm-hmm. you're already in the the, the land of the mist, mm-hmm. and you know people are dying, so on and so forth. It's a rough world, and you know with Boruto, they don't live in that world anymore. Like yeah. we we just watched what was it like 598 episodes of them fixing that, or at yeah. least trying to fix that, and then actually like beating the big guy so that they can actually like move forward and try yeah. to make a different type of world for Ninja. Um. So it's going to be different. It's going to feel different. Um, Like, ninja training is going to look different. Like, they're not preparing for war. It's not dire for them to, like, know how to kill. It's not, like, one of those things where it's important for the kids to be ready, like, at every, you know, just ready to give up their lives. Like, they have aspirations and things like that that don't necessarily, I mean, besides... Sarada, who wants to be Hokage. Yeah. And then eventually, you know, Boruto wanting to be like Uncle Sasuke. Yeah. But like, you know, you have, oh, I always, uh, Ki- Ki- Kinemon, Kinemon, you know, the one with the, the glasses, the really smart one who's the son oh, of the dad. Gosh. Why don't I know these guy. names? The name always, his, I, because he's, he's slightly unmemorable for mm-hmm. me. I think he's going to play a big role though. He definitely is because he's going to be the, he's going to be the scientist money. And also, he's going to get something, whether he makes a um, a Sanji esque raid suit, which I'm gonna get you up on. I was gonna say, like, point. I don't know what that means. Uh, <laughs> so it's kind of like a Power Ranger thing. He's Wait, gonna have I've like seen, a ro- yeah, yeah. I've so seen fan art of that. so that guy is gonna, you know, he's gonna end up making something with the tech, and it's gonna be something where he'll have like a suit where he fights or something. Yeah, I guarantee you, it'll be something technological. That'll be really cool. And that's the theme. Like, how are we blending technology with, you know, the traditions of being a ninja? Yeah. And so. And what I think Kishimoto is going to end up doing. And I, mm, Uh-oh, let's I hear hope. it. So did you ever read Samurai 8? Yes. I see things like that. Okay. I see them maybe going that, because that's essentially what they're doing. Mm-hmm. I mean, because Samurai 8's whole thing was about your soul and how your souls are tied to. Mm-hmm these things and the fight like i'm pretty sure he's gonna take a lot of those ideas and kind of workshop them in but that's like inherently like japanese anime true you know um but the he's done it really well in terms of the reincarnation aspect Mm -hmm. the immortality aspect Mm -hmm. um which which has been the theme mm -hmm. of naruto since the beginning might i add and so, like, this is just another extension. Boruto, sorry, I'm about to make my case for Boruto. Every every point that we hit, I'm probably going <laughs> to be like, and... No, but, like, you know, it's the same story. Yeah. Um, just a different time period. And yeah. going back to what we were talking about, about, like, how this started, like, you got to world build. And, you got to. And with a Naruto, lot of us, a lot of us have spent... A thousand plus episodes. Get over in it. a built world, and so like the to have different. to, so to have to like rebuild. Yeah. Now, what you want in this situation? If it were something new, like if you said there had been time passed by, and it's one of those like, oh shit, they're reviving, you know, the Naruto stuff, but it's new, it's different. If you had like, I think I, I proposed this to you before. If they had gone 15 20 years in the in the future or even further just so like i'm either asking questions in a way about what it is that happened to people or you answer in some wide sweeping uh future trunks goku arc like Mm. there was a disease that came and you know (laughs) we couldn't get the had you done that, we would have the expectation wouldn't have been so connected. Mm-hmm. But when you come literally, like I don't even think there was a week between Naruto's last episode and Boruto, Boruto's first episode, and they might have been going on simultaneously. Like because I don't think the anime had quite finished before Boruto started. Mm. But the manga had been over for a long time. 
But yeah. I get what you're saying. I get what you're um, saying. In terms of the viewers and the popularity of what they were trying to keep. I think what they tried to do with that, honestly, which was like a huge failure, mm-hmm. <laughs> is like, because like we were just talking about, it was yeah. marketed as a new story, mm-hmm. you know? And so so that you didn't think of it as a sequel to mm-hmm. put it out while the other one was out, you know? Yeah. But, but like, I... But the thing that I think semantics, most you know? people <laughs> wanted that you explained so very eloquently um, in terms of why it's still there is a lot of us wanted the legacy building that had been built up. You wanted some answers to some questions. You wanted people to finally start getting their shine. Mm-hmm. Um, you wanted the designs to feel as rewarding as the mm-hmm. Shaputin designs felt mm-hmm. like the Shaputin designs weren't like the craziest changes in but the they world. were noticeable Man. and amazing they kept us watching they were like whoa it, you like, know and it, they, in their first season you know how excited we were because they showed nobody but uh Sasuke mm-hmm. Sakura Sai. Naruto Sai was new he didn't you know well no they didn't show Sai first season of Shaputin Cause he was like second season after the the rescue Gara art. Oh, they didn't show us. See now, not till he got back. Yeah, because right. so we didn't see that. We got to see um, Neji, Lee, um, and Tintin, because they went on that that mission with them or came through. Uh, because they end up getting into the fight with uh, Kisame, and mm-hmm. when they run into Itachi, mm-hmm. um, you got to see uh, Tamari. You got to see. Uh, Puppet guy that's not Sasori. <laughs> as good as Sasori. Uh, Conqueror. Conqueror. Excuse me. Sorry, Conqueror. I apologize. Oh, and I am so surprised. I remember way more names in Naruto well, than Well, what's crazy is anywhere. that I'm trying to remember the names. And, you know, like, I've already tagged this as, like, my, my favorite anime. And now, and now. <laughs> but we don't think about it because... And you see all these people and you're like, oh, man, that is cool. How, mm-hmm. you know, uh, more Chinese, the the fighting style of Neji got in, in terms of his clothes. Same thing with Tintin. Mm-hmm. Um, same thing with uh, Rock Lee, which I guess that whole little area is all kind of. Um, yeah, it's very like. Very, you know, Chinese inspired. And whether it's the fighting style, the 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 weapons that she uses, so on and so forth. But anyway, even that's, in that's the way they thing. like, you know. Hold themselves. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, but you got to see these people. And so we were already excited by these designs. And it wasn't until they get back mm-hmm. from saving Gara mm-hmm. that you then introduce all of the other teams. Mm-hmm. You see what Choji's become. You see what Shikamaro's become. You see what um, Hinata's become. You see what Kiba's become. Mm-hmm. You see what Shino. I love Shino's design, which is why I hate his Boruto design. But that's another. I hate it. Mm-hmm. You went. And he's a teacher. I get it. <laughs> but, but, Gosh. but with all of that, if you have Shippuden as your expectation, how do you make a different story highlighting those things, mm-hmm. but not making it about them? So, uh-oh, uh-oh. And I, I've, I've given this idea before. I think, I don't know if you pushed back on it or just didn't necessarily like it, <laughs> but so what I would have done one, we would have passed time a decent amount. Mm-hmm. The Hokage would not have been Naruto. Okay. It would have been uh, Konohamaru. Okay. Start there. Okay. Now, A, that gives me a couple of things. Mm-hmm. One, you're like, okay, how the hell did we end up here? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what did, what did Konohamaru do and how did he change to where he can become Hokage and protect this whole village. Mm-hmm. So you can build that out. <laughs> That's actually really just like funny considering Konohamaru's uh, and, position yes, in Boruto right yes. now. Yes. I like, think the the um, nickname is Trashamaru now. Yes. Tra- <laughs> no matter what, every time he pops up, he's getting smacked the hell around somewhere. Uh, it's what all a I've team heard. captain. Man. And it's just like, you're not even, you're not even, uh, Oh shoot! Uh, not Kakashi, but the one after Kakashi, the the one that can use the wood style. Oh Yamamoto. Yes, Yamamoto. I I wasn't oh, sure, Yamamoto. and I should have said it. Yeah. But so you start there. <laughs> you start it there, and then you know you can leave Boruto around the age he is now, mm-hmm. or not the age he is now, but the age he is when the things start happening. Mm-hmm. 
you know, with everything that's going on right now, we start kind of around there. Mm-hmm. You're just shifting around the positions. So you already know at that mm-hmm. point that Naruto's probably already dead. Mm-hmm. If we want to do that or if we want to leave it mysterious to where you can find that out. Mm-hmm. You could have even started it like you can not find any of that out and just have Boruto on the run. Mm. And it gives you a bit of time to like kind of build your backstories on people that are like, what the hell happened? Mm-hmm. Like, why are we here? But, but, but Boruto started on a serious note. Yes. Yes, it did. Konoha is destroyed. Yes, it's out of there. And he's old. And he's fighting this new person that nobody knows what's going on. Nobody knows. And has this thing going on in his eye with something that looks like the Byakugan, but clearly not because it's in one eye. So True. what happened? True. You know? And we could have either, I would have rather, let's start doing it incrementally. Mm-hmm. So instead of, we ain't got to go all the way back to when you were a kid because mm-hmm. we're not trying to recreate Naruto mm-hmm. in that sense. So let's go a little bit back. Let's Mm -hmm. go back to, okay, you know, we can, what happened after Gaiden? Mm -hmm. Like, what are the big points that we can hit that shows, like, after this point where we can see that Boruto is somebody that wants the attention of his dad. Yeah. But is also supportive of the fact that, I don't want to be Hokage. I just want to be like Uncle Sasuke. Because when he met him and saw him on that mission, Mm -hmm. that's when he was like, Oh, you yeah. know, it, it. But here's the deal, though. I and mean, here's the thing that I think people. Because um, I hear you 100 percent and I do agree that's that could have happened and that could have made this definitely more palatable for, you know, more of the viewers. Correct. Right. But like. It makes you go into. Like researching, like okay, what? And is, this is where you come in. Yeah, like, and it, this is where you make it <laughs> worth it where they are now. But yeah, no, it's just like you know, you go into the research and you find out, you put things together, like from you know the past stories to figure out, mm-hmm. like you know, why certain people are either acting a certain way or in certain positions. Mm-hmm. But then it makes you also look at the last series as a whole to see what they've overcome and then what. Like, where they are now from where they were, right? Right. And so it's like, you know, you got to look at it from the beginning. <laughs> and it's like, okay, we're just kids that want to be a ninja. That we we want to be ninja. We want to be the greatest ninja. We want to be Hokage. But what does that mean? That's all of Naruto and Naruto Shippuden. Like, the most unlikely character becoming the top guy that everyone respects and appreciate. Naruto never had a father. So, like... Boruto coming in and like you know learning all these things that he knows but he's like also like training with the Hugas not not Naruto like you know he's um the top he's he's a genius he is a genius it's genius level yeah like his battle and that is the other thing that I think he holds that Naruto can never hold um Mm -hmm. so from the beginning because they were using shonen tropes So main character with a huge power inside of him that he just has to learn how to use. Same kind of thing with Boruto, but it's not like having the unlimited chakra uh, bit or being able to switch between chakras that, that Naruto had. It's I actually have to use exactly what I have, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know? And even when we're talking about karma, that's a whole nother dynamic of kind of using what you already have, negating other things in a chakra sense. Mm-hmm. But I got to be more sk- like the skill that Boruto has to possess to reach the things that Naruto did is, is almost insurmountable because Sasuke in and of himself, given having the Sharingan, gun, having the Renan gun, um, is at a force level to be able to stay up there with um, Naruto. Yeah. Whereas Boruto and Sarada, like Boruto has to like the come up that he's going to have to be able to do whatever it is when they're rebuilding and, mm-hmm. and finally be able to be by her side or whatever it is he's going to do. Mm-hmm. It, 
currently it's going to be done right. Yeah. I don't think they would have got there. No, 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 uh, no. I'm definitely glad that Kishimoto is back on board because it was turning to more of a slice of life thing. And it was maybe they getting... were going that direction with making the story this. But like at the same time, like they're ninja. We need action. We need, we need action. We don't need. We need development, actual development. We don't like, need dad come spend time with me all the time. But, but, but like that's a main part of Boruto's angst. I mean, like Naruto had it. Yeah. Yeah. But um, Naruto got his father figure from, you know, the third. Okay, yeah. cool. Now that has been fixed in, you know, the Boruto story. Mm-hmm. Like Boruto has a father. But he's so busy being the Hokage and also treating everyone like his family that his actual family, it seems like he doesn't have enough time. He doesn't know what being a dad is, <laughs> you know? No. But, um, um, and, and, I, and I know I keep bringing that up, but, like, it's just one of those major things that, like, they had, you had to have angsty Boruto who's, you know, really, really angry about, like, not being with the Hokage, who's his dad, this awesome ninja, not being, like, really taught anything. He hasn't mm-hmm. trained with them. They don't train together or anything. And, and being in the middle of fame, because this is not, this is something new. This exactly. is... And all those expectations the, are put on that Boruto as well. Look, but he doesn't spend time with them. But look at the filler episodes, right? Mm-hmm. So even in the filler episodes, they're going around trying to get Kurama dolls. In the manga, they they collect trading cards, with Sasuke and all the people on it, where his dad in and of himself is a hard card to get. Um, so I think that there are a lot of good things. I don't, it's not that I don't like the angst because yeah. that is something that needs to be there. You don't want yeah. him without a fight of his own and you, the, the loneliness that you can feel yeah. by having an important person that has to do an important thing. It doesn't matter if you're, uh, your dad is a preacher. It doesn't matter yeah. if your dad is a basketball player. It doesn't matter if your dad is an entertainer yeah. or a teacher. But I guess what I'm saying is that, like, that is fixed early on in the series, you know? Like, that that conflict is resolved. Like, they have to fight, and Boruto has to see him fight at, um, you know, at full strength to, like, actually be like, okay, this is what a ninja is, you know? Right. Um, by the end of the tuning exam... Like, I don't know how many people had already created their own jutsus. Boruto had three. Mm -hmm. Like, new jutsus that he created himself, like, just in the midst of training. Not only that, like, I'm pretty sure, like, you can see him using water, fire, um, lightning, wind style. No, not fire. Does he ever use fire? No, not fire. I don't think he... But I don't you, think he's used fire. You know yet. what I'm saying? Because That's his, three chakra chain. Like, you know, chakra nature is right there. And his Renin gun is still a unique Renin gun to himself. Wait, are you talking about? Uh, Rasengan. Oh, Excuse yeah. Me. His yeah. Rasengan is and still he a has, unique. He's created two different Rasengans. The vanishing one mm-hmm. and then the compressed one. Yeah. All within like a year of him because being in again, academy. It's a skill. This is why I said yeah. I do like the character because he has to be more skilled. Mm-hmm. Because without the chakra, like Boruto, I mean Naruto had the chakra in droves. So a lot of his problem was, how do I just use a little bit? Yeah, yeah. Like, how do I use a little bit? How do I control it? His thing was he had to use more chakra, <laughs> create a clone, have that. You know, yeah. like we got to be focusing at the same time, kind mm-hmm. of thing. Whereas um, Boruto, it was like, here it is. And he's like, what? Uh, it didn't work. Boom. Like, oh. Yeah, in like three days. <laughs> so, ah, same amount of time. Yeah. Fair. But still the, more difficult. <laughs> wait, yeah, I, I just think that the, the skill, the caliber of skill within these kids, and you can kind of tell that the world is like, they, they've grown a better understanding of what chakra is and through that because they can educate like their ninja like you don't have to do a lot of work mm-hmm. um i don't know i don't know if i want to phrase it that way but i will right now um a lot of work to get the same results because they have the knowledge now so now what do you do with that knowledge in comes scientific tech you know scientific ninja tech and then that seems to be Exactly, still in line. What was going on with Orochimaru, and then you're gonna have to save those. Okay, I'll, I'll just leave that alone. Save it. When I tell y'all this, <laughs> so the next time that we talk 
uh, boards. So in another episode that we're going to do very soon, trust me when I say the yeah. Orochimaru <laughs> theories and content is something that you want to be uh, here for because it is <laughs> freaky how good <laughs> that level of thought process and if that's something that they're building towards, which it seems like they are. Uh, in a lot of different ways, it's going to be something that I know y'all will enjoy. Yeah, I'll I'll leave that one alone. But, but you know what I'm talking about, though. Yes. Yeah. So all know. in all, so if you were, and I know we didn't get like into all of these specifics, mm-hmm. but I think that the source of what it is we're trying to say, the uh, to get to the bottom of it, the the backbone mm-hmm. to what we're saying, um, and as you're explaining it is. There's so much more that's here Mm -hmm. than what we give credit for Mm -hmm. because we can't continuously expect what we got before because those things, those timelines, those storylines are done Mm -hmm. Um, in a in full for the most part. They're done, but they're still relevant. They're relevant in the sense that they're the bedrock for what we're building now. Exactly. Exactly. You know, we're yeah. trying to build off of that and go forward, uh-huh. but not in the way where, like, the way I wanted to build it was more off a legacy thing, which is kind of a continuation. Mm-hmm. Like, now, while this is a continuation, there's still new things and new surfaces that they're going to scratch, especially given the fact that they have to now usurp worldly, God worldly powered mm-hmm. ninjas. Mm hmm. That you shouldn't be able to, t- like, two ninjas from one village that you shouldn't be able to touch at all. Mm-hmm. And most of most people can't mm-hmm. at that. So building up towards that and, and getting to a place where I think that the series is growing. I've changed my mind. I, I was only saying it was trash because at that point, I was still upset with shonen jump and how they handled it yeah and we had a really really heated talk about this because they just we did (laughs) because they just they didn't handle it right they didn't put us in a position um and you're just more forgiving and more accepting of the fact that you didn't have the highest expectations but you're also a fan of it so you also know there's enough in every episode that's like well i remember this oh Mm -hmm. and you Mm -hmm. can see the bigger picture for the layman where it's not my top series like in one piece i can see the bigger picture of things that they're building Mm -hmm. um same thing with bleach you know the thing with bleach was and again it's always shown in jump and not the creator Mm -hmm. (laughs) when you rush the creator or the creator is unhappy or the creator is trying to you know popularize or or finish with a battle arc or whatever Mm -hmm. um a lot ends up lacking and that's what I felt, mm-hmm. especially because I started reading. I was excited. I was like, oh, I get to start something from the beginning of its creation. Mm-hmm. And I get to kind of see where we're going. Mm-hmm. And then it was like, but uh, we ain't really going nowhere right now because we're <laughs> trying to figure out who we are. Yeah. And to be more forgiving as an anime person, because I'm a, I'm a stand. I'm a stand of anime in that sense. And I'm critical of people. So I'm kind of like. The f- the music fan who doesn't give the artist room to grow. Yeah, okay, I want that yeah. album again. Yeah, you just. I or I want I a better yeah. version of the album that you gave me. Exactly, you, you want to see like constant progression and yeah, and but there is constant progression mm-hmm. in the fact that you doing something different. You taking it to mm-hmm. the the technolo- the technology. Good mm-hmm. God, I am so hard saying the words. Yeah. Um was something that was huge, was something that was bright, is something that's vibrant mm-hmm. and, and running all throughout the series now. And it's just those, I hate the corporate structure of yeah. how they can bring people down. Yeah. Because these storytellers are good at what they do, and mm-hmm. while they need somebody to be like, well, hey, how about we not have 30 chapters of, you know, blah. blah of you showing us where this world is. Mm-hmm. How about we give you 15? Okay. Yeah. You know, you, you do more 15 of wrapping this up mm-hmm. and then we can come back to that later, but the fans are going to lose interest around here. You're not just servicing a Joe who likes all of that shit. Mm-hmm. But I feel like, and this is always, there's always a, but whenever you have like, you make a good, you make a really good point, right. but it's also just like with that, there would have to be more filler. Yeah. 
So, like, where do you, where do you balance? Like, do you want that, you know, shorter world building, bu- building it, for more filler? Or do you, like, just want to, like, get the full story out, get the full world build out so you don't have to worry about that anymore? What I want, mm-hmm. and this is hard over there because the popularity mm-hmm. and the instant demand of weekly uh, production. Uh, there's so much that goes into producing an anime or a manga. And, like, people don't really know the amount of work. Listen. Y'all get to watch Grey's Anatomy one season, two season. They have an off season. Mm -hmm. There is no off season in anime that isn't a holiday. (laughs) Right. And even (laughs) then, there's no off season. Mm -hmm. There's hospital, you know. Hiatus. All all Hunter (laughs) x Hunter fans know. Oh, gosh. The the fear of a hiatus. Yes, yes. And if it wasn't for the fact that how big Hunter x Hunter is. Yeah. And it's like it's still growing, actually. Like the fan base is still growing. People are still just like stumbling upon it, but then like they get to the points and they're upset. But it's like, hey, we waited for this for like a decade, you know. You know, <laughs> and it, it's one of those things where you kind of have to grow and adapt, and you just kind of have to understand. That would be my my request. It's hard because you can't right. because people are expecting their manga every week. They're expecting their anime every week with like little to no like One Piece takes a like I said a, a holiday break, mm-hmm. you know. Whereas I wish more anime has got the anime or Attack on Titan, My Hero Academia treatment, mm-hmm. where they get a season to not be on TV, mm-hmm. and they get they want the manga to but, build but, forward. Yeah, exactly. And they should. I mean, you it, know, it would work better if it was planned out that way. But I think like. But you just couldn't do that with not wanting to. And I understand it from Shonen Jump. That's essentially like if the Lakers as a franchise was like, no more basketball for us, guys. <laughs> We're gone after this next season. And they're like, oh, no, we need a Lakers. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like we need them now. And then it's the practice team. <laughs> you know, we need whatever, you know, and it's yeah. just like. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna I'm gonna hire some of the old Laker players and people that are like yeah, I play, gonna, my name is Susan Anderson. I play for Lakers off season. <laughs> <laughs> you know they don't want that revenue to stop. Yeah. Um. And while I get it, I just I begrudge that because, mm-hmm. I, I, and I'm not a filler hater. <laughs> I'm just a canon enthusiast. I think overall. And this is this is probably where I stand in my position, right? With these kinds of situations, especially Boruto, and especially dealing with Kishimoto, you have to. I respect the work that's put in, and I'm not saying any people don't respect it, but I feel like me personally, I respect mm-hmm. the work that's put into it, and because I love it so much, I'm going to I'm gonna ride. You know, I'm going to say I'm going to ride and I'm not going to complain because ultimately I don't really know what's going on in that corporate office. You know, true. There, there may be a reason why this, this, this and this and this and this can happen. But at the same time, like for me, like because of the story that you gave me, which I mean, I think I've said this in a previous episode, but I watch um, like Naruto in its entirety, maybe like mm-hmm. two to three times a year. Um, it's just one of those continue. I, I just have it on loop. Like it's like, oh, okay, we're waiting on blah blah blah. Time to mm-hmm. watch all of Naruto. I used to do that with Dragon Ball Z too. Can't do it anymore. But <laughs> um, but you know, like I, no, I really I respect. Think I could recite Dragon Ball Z just. Ooh, in from yes. memory, in you know how head. you can like recite the whole Lion King, uh, the whole Lion King movie, yeah. or like um, Good Burger. That's me, Good Burger. I mean, if you don't say that. <laughs> twenty-five years of Keenan the Kill. No, literally. To, like I feel so old. Yeah, <laughs> isn't that crazy? But no, so yeah, just 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 respecting like you know the process and trusting the process, and I think. We get so uh, caught up in the now, like, I want this, I need this, I'm expecting this, and because, like, I pay or watch or this or that, like, you should listen to me um, as the viewer, which I do think that's important as well, but sometimes I think we take it a little bit overboard as anime people and anime enthusiasts, I'll call those anime people, um, yes, but anime... It's, it's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Not the music. Oops. Hey, there you go. Got to level up. Anime enthusiasts, you know, we do kind of get into this 
attitude that we we need we need certain things. Yeah. But if we just let people like play their stories out without giving them so much pressure, without like, you know, saying things as far as like, oh my God, your story is trash, but they're putting in like so much work to like actually build something that you can like, it's a different story. Like, let's wait and see how it's going to be a different story. Um, and yeah, we like to theorize and like try to like, you know, get to the end of the story before it's over. But like, I don't know, just cool it, let it go. And then like put the pieces together. Um, there are a lot of things, almost every single thing that happens in Boruto is connected to what had already happened. Um, and in a so, way that expands the universe and deepens yeah. it and answers questions that you had. Yeah. Um, because so. Naruto the last is the only canon movie out of all of them, but it's hugely canon to Boruto. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, you know, as you were explaining that to me and I had to think because they show it so much and I'm like, why do they talk about this movie so much? I'm like, oh, it's canon because that's the whole, you know, Naruto, Hinata relationship forming, proposal, everything else um, that tied into those last episodes of, like you know, everybody of... coming to their, their wedding. Yeah. Because um, I think they were all around the same time, those last couple of episodes that weren't mm-hmm. anything, you know, it wasn't the last episode. It was just kind of filler, but mm-hmm. good filler. Canon filler, so to speak, mm-hmm. which we'll, we'll have an episode on that too. Yeah, because filler versus canon. Because, like I said, I'm a canon enthusiast, only because these writers are so amazing in the worlds that they create. You, I'll keep going. Sorry, I get, I get drove. Like we, we should probably like do a thing like outside. I mean, it'll be for the podcast, but outside of it, like where we do watch canon fillers and just see how they like tie in. Oh yeah, that would be really cool. I would like that. Yeah, you know, because. Like, or even watch, um, like, Dragon Ball Super is the best one. Yeah. The best thing in the world to where they literally set out to be like, you know how y'all used to, like, watch GT? <laughs> and you liked it? <laughs> and you liked the, all those Dragon Ball AF pictures and stuff? <laughs> you you liked looking at Super Saiyan 5 that didn't exist? <laughs> With the silver hair, I loved it though. <laughs> I did, and they were and Super was just like, "Here it is. Here's canon. <laughs> like I'm making all of those things not exist. Hey, hey, hey! Remember how Gogeta didn't exist? <laughs> he was not an actual thing. Here he exists, Boom. and you know who we're gonna make him exist with? The guy who didn't exist, the biggest character that we've all thought was canon, Broly." Doom. Now he's really here. Boom. <laughs> Silver hair, ultra instinct. Yeah. I, I really wish that, like, that Dragon Ball, I mean, Dragon Ball uh, Super definitely galvanized, like, you know, the old school Dragon Ball. They fans. did. Like, they told us, they were like, here, pan. Yeah. And, like, if the, I swear to God, they're gonna, <laughs> like, I hate how they're doing now because they're getting so far away from it. She's super strong. She's flying as a freaking baby. Yeah, yeah. If you do not capitalize on this, I get it. I'm I'm a Goku uh Gohan stand. Yeah, you and are. I know y'all are not gonna do anything with Gohan. Fine. Which give is me so good sad. But give me pain. Cause y'all gave me the most like I I remember how many times I watched Gohan going Super Saiyan 2 that mind snapping because Gohan was the champion of the bullied nerd. Yeah. He yeah. was the champion because you're sitting there and you're like, I don't want to fight. Yeah. He's a song to watch him Sweet in boy. those moments of like, those were the things that if I was bold enough to get into fights with folks mm-hmm. after they had pushed me and I didn't feel like I was going to like murder them because I'm like the, I see all red in, mm-hmm. in Gohan version. I would have wanted to be that. I would have been like, okay, you've pushed me to this point. Now this hidden thing that's been in me all along is about to come out and you're about to get do do ba ba ba. You out of here. Oh <laughs> god, I keep thing. I did it again. He's trying to end that. <laughs> you're trying to end the episode at least. Jeez. <laughs> no, but um you actually triggered like a weird memory for me. You know, it's like all those standardized yeah. tests that we would have to take in high school and like middle school. Yeah. And you had that like sheet of paper that you used to cover your answers. Yes. Every time I would wait, I would be drawing stick figure versions of the cell versus um, Gohan <laughs> <laughs> fight of them doing the father son command man and then like the super command man. Like, yeah. I don't know. I drew that like every time. 
It was pivotal. That, it, it was, it was just, great. So yeah, but it was the most kind amazing of part of that series, <laughs> and like such a thing. But that yeah. that that's another thing about building. I mean, there's still a lot of things that Dragon Ball Z built, and we can dive into this. But I'm glad this episode is basically starter series, and if they decide to continue it, how mm-hmm. those things match up, mm-hmm. why you should still give them a chance, mm-hmm. and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, you can check us out or you can hit me up at Gray Area Anime on Instagram, uh, Gray Area Anime on uh, uh, at gmail.com. If you have any comments, if you shoot me an email with any of your comments, I'm going to shout you out in the episode. Uh, if you want to remain anonymous, make sure you say so. Uh, you can also hit me up on Twitter at Gray Area underscore uh, one. Gray Area Anime underscore one is what I'm going to say. Um, is that the Twitter? Yeah, I think okay. so. It's one of the one. Um, it's an underscore one on one of them. I can't remember, <laughs> but it'll be in the description as it always is. Um, so, with that being said, I appreciate you for coming to doing this episode with me. I appreciate you yeah. guys for being patient with us. Uh, consistency is coming back. Trust me, we are going to be bigger. We're going to be better. I'm going to build towards having a Patreon and have some great things over there for you guys because this is what's going to be built we're going to build this blurred community oh yeah uh we're going to build this anime community but just know i am a blurred supporter of all kinds Mm -hmm. that that don't take nothing from nobody but that's the kind of podcast i be (laughs) so yeah thanks for having me on like i really enjoy having these talks um, and and you will be a staple it doesn't matter you know where i move where i go I, i always like talking anime with my friends especially my blurred friends because it shows you know, just how impactful anime has been for us. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because for kids, because of what shonen in and of itself is, if you did not find yourself in watching Spider Man or something, which some which a lot of us did, mm-hmm. if you didn't find yourself in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, where it's like a lot of these things we watched, but the only things that we could embody were things like Power Rangers mm-hmm. and and but you know things like that. Whereas when you started to watch anime, when you got to the Naruto's, the Boruto's, the Bleach, um, Yu Yu Hakusho's of the world, Rurouni Kenshin, Yasha, Gundam Wing, G Gundam, I can continue. Mm-hmm. Uh, Cowboy Bebop. I watched all those Gundams recently. You <laughs> start to get this appreciation of self. Mm-hmm. You start to see the world in the way that Stan Lee envisioned it when he talks about his comics and Excelsior mm-hmm. and, and all of that. Um, but anyway. I also want to say for uh, just just take note, rest in peace to Biz Marquis. Uh, just as we're talking on impact and, and ending on this, one of those impactful people that no matter who it is, you 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 know you knew something about him. I guarantee it. Mm-hmm. Um, you whether you like Will Smith, you saw him in Men in Black too. Um, if you are any if you were around two thousand one. And you like Mario? <laughs> That's the first single. It's just a friend. Uh, the the remake and, and revitalization of a whole career. So, uh, recipes to him. Prayers and condolences to his family. Uh, we'll see you guys next week. A one and a two and a peace. Bye.